Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the series of webinars by Fialon. Um, it's a beautiful day in Boston. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon for you, whatever you are. And the topic of today's webinar is how fast is your fleet going? Speeding reports in VLON. And we are going to cover several things um, today. And the agenda is uh, we will cover three things. First, I will show you how to uh, build a speeding report in VLON. Then we will introduce some enhanced features, how you can improve your report um, that will be useful for any type of report. And then we will um, have a practical exercise to show you in real life how I build the report and then uh, improve a little bit um, and you know just emphasize some uh, problems you might, might encounter and how to fix um, them. So without further ado, let's um, get us started. As a reminder, speed and report um, shows speed limitation violations for your fleet and um, the value of this report, um, uh, I mean, it may be useful for you when you want to count speed and ticket expenses and reduce risk of accidents uh, for, your, for your fleet. Um, and the next, so right now we will see how to build the report. In any, uh, is in any other report, you go to reports tab in the monitoring panel, you click the new button, and then you um, have your uh, template ready. I would recommend you as a first step, always name your report, um, because so many people forget and then you have just a template and your report. Um, then you have to choose type of your uh, report of your, um, as you know, there are so many for a unit, for a unit group of drivers, group of drivers. So today we will choose um, unit group. And then you click on a new table uh, to have this template. Then um, next, as a next step, you have to choose type of the table. Again, as you may be aware, there's so many types of tables and uh, for uh, today's uh, webinar, we are choosing speedings uh, report. And as the basic columns uh, we have uh, here is um, the beginning, location, duration of your um, speed and maximum speed your fleet or your driver was going and the speed limit that happened on that period of time. So that's pretty much uh, basic um, columns you may use uh, for this report. As a next step, you have to go to settings here and you um, may want to group your report by a unit. Again, as a reminder, so many options. I want to group it by a unit. And then in settings, you put um, detailization to show a detailed list of events for a given unit uh, further uh, when we execute the report raw numbering and total. So if you followed and then you pr press OK. Uh, if you follow all that steps, um, at the end, you will get the basic report and it should look like something like this. So you see the speed limit, the maximum speed, uh, one of your units or all of them uh, were going. Um, and then when you go to detailization, you will see um, the you know sp report uh, spe uh, speeding by speeding. Uh, again, we will have a practical exercise. I will show how it works in real life, but that's the basics. What if you want to enhance your report a little bit and um, have some, uh, I would call it um, advanced features, but maybe useful for different type of reports as well. And today we will cover um, how you can rename the column on your report, how you can uh, ex uh, use a calculator feature to calculate speed exceeding value, um, how you can um, sort out your report uh, by top uh, violators, and then uh, how you can have uh, speed and markers on your map on the monitoring panel so you have this visual representation of speedings. So in the first feature 
uh, would be how to um, rename the column. Um, so some uh, some of you may know that um, you know sometimes we have generic names of the columns, and you may want to put a different name. In this um, example, I will show you, um, and this column name is count. It's a generic name for. Um, let's say in a trips report, you want to calculate number of trips. In a parking report, you want to calculate number of parkings. And in uh, speedings, we want to calculate number of speedings. So this is quite a generic name count. So I want to rename it number of violations. And by doing this, I double click on the column and then you, will, um, you can type um, your name. Again, as a small hint, whenever you see this arrow, um, the color is enhanced, it means the column was renamed and in any report you can click and it will get back to original name. So that's how we know somebody, uh, someone did something for this column. And um, next one is a calculator. As you see in every single table, we have this feature at calculator. And uh, right now, um, it allows us to add custom columns to the tables by using the formula based on other columns parameters. And again, the calculator is available in all the tables, not only spittings, except for images, videos, and statistics. And um, by, uh, we want to know the speed exceeding value and we speed limit, um, subtract maximum speed, and we get X. Uh, number of miles per hour we want to see in the report and again we will uh, we will check these options um, on our practical exercise next feature is um, sorting out by top violators uh, and actually this request came from one of our partners before the webinar so we decided to accommodate and show uh, he wanted to know his top 10 violators of uh, his fleet and what you can do you can uh, we have this feature sorting out. You can sort out a table, uh, a column uh, by um, your table by column. And uh, right here, uh, when you click on it, you will have a drop down menu and you will see our renamed column number of violations. As a reminder, in the drop down menu, only you will see only columns that you checked previously on the columns menu. And on a drop-down menu, you uh, check number of violations, so however you uh, named um, this count uh, column. And then you sort out from the highest violator to the lowest. You can do vice versa as well. And that's, uh, that's how we, uh, we do it. And um, last but not the least, uh, our map um, speed and markers on a map. And um, this feature exists on the settings uh, tab on the report. And you go to map output, and when you click on it, you will see a um, couple of options. And among those are, you will see speed and markers. So you check um, this and click OK. And um, if we follow all the rules uh, with a basic report plus some um, enhanced features, you should see something like this. The report would look like something like this. Uh, so you see number of violations um, from the highest to the lowest. You see um, exceeding over um, column that we um, put into this report by uh, using calculator. And you also see these speeding markers on a map um, in your monitoring panel. So that's how uh, a report should look like um, based on our parameters that we um, executed. So right now we will go into practice and some um, things to keep in mind whenever you um, execute or build your report first. So we are on our monitoring panel for this webinar, and I already uh, pre-built this um, speeding out of fleet report. And based on our logic, when we execute it, we should see um, the previous report that was shown on the screenshot. Let's do it for a week. Hmm. And we don't see anything. 
And the one reason for this may be none of your drivers violated or any speed limits. So you had a you have great drivers, they don't speed, they drive based on speed limit and everything is great. However, for this one, I know for sure one of the tracks were viol uh, was violating the speed limit, especially for a week, there should be something. So first thing you have to check, whenever you create a unit, you have to check in unit properties, advanced tab, speed and detection. If speed and detection is none, as you can see here, none of the speed and reports will ever work for you. You can build and as much and as many as you want, they won't work if the unit in this report does not have any speed and detection. So let's uh, actually do this. Uh, we have two options, either use fixed speed limit where you put yourself what um, limit you, um, you have for your fleet or you can use limits from roads. In the US, Canada and in Europe, we have this option and mostly partners from the US, Canada and Europe use this option, uh, use limits from roads. Um, and then right here, you can also um, indicate tolerance on speeding. Let's say in Boston and, and Mass Pike, the maximum speed limit on a highway is 65. If I put five miles per hour, it means I will tolerate if my driver will go 69 or 70. So um, that's you, you, you are giving some leeway for your driver to violate a little bit but not that much sometimes you can put 10 for heavy trucks uh, you can put um, uh, five and we click ok and you see our our out of fleet group consists of five so first one we know uh, everything is uh, great on advanced settings and next one we also we don't have anything you may think that i can go one by one and check the properties, but imagine you are having hundreds of units or thousands of units. So that's quite a task to perform for, um, for a person who is uh, doing this for you. And easy way um, would be, and again, as a reminder to use um, import export tool from the user uh, menu, you'll go to import export, click export to WLP file. Again, as a reminder, that's the format VLON is using. And we know that the ideal original unit that has all properties all sorted out uh, is GNX, yes. And you click report properties. Again, uh, keep in mind it's report properties that you want to export uh, to your next units. And then you see number of units are available that are available. And I know those four we want to export um, things and check again. Remember, we didn't have anything. Right now, speed and detection, use limits from roads, everything is all set. And when we go back to reports, we execute for a week again. And now we see everything. So please keep in mind it's uh it's it's a feature you have to remember otherwise uh your report won't work and now let's actually build the report step by step in a in a present time so you see all that steps um how i did it uh, based on screenshots again you'll go into reports you are um clicking new name it speed and test um, for a unit group click new table and right here you choose the table type speedings and here are the columns um, again uh, we have this new feature actually presented last month right now the system gives you some hints what to do when you build a report and it says select a column for first time so right here I, ch I check beginning of my speeding location duration I want to know maximum speed the speed limit that was present in that time and remember our count 
number of violations. I want to know number of violations my um, report will show. So I click this one, go, move it a little bit here, and then I want to rename it. Number of violations. And I also want uh, to know um, the exceeding speed value and I add calculator and uh, we need to create a formula for this and um, we will do by clicking on the maximum speed limit minus speed limit and then we have to indicate unit of measurement and it's going to be miles wow. and we click OK and again we see it's a custom column so Maybe we move it somewhere here and we rename it. Sitting over. And we click OK. So, and what we also uh, want to do is move to settings and sort by number of violations. See, columns are only those that I checked previously in columns menu, number of violations. I want to sort it out from the highest lowest so I click back and I want to group my report by a unit so I do it like this and then I put detailization raw numbering and total and I click OK and remember we also want to see some uh, speeding markers on our map we're going right here in settings um, map output and we check speeding markers Click OK, speed in test, and let's execute it for a week again. So that's what we have. Um, again, we have number of violations from the highest to the lowest. We also, if you go to detailization, you see a breakdown of all violations. Um, it was one. The unit exceeded over 10 miles per hour. The speed limit was 50. However, the unit was going 60. And then when you click on a location, you can see it on the map. And for a um, speeding marker, when you hover over, you will also see some small tooltip giving you the same information, the duration, um, the speed limit, unit name, location, and so on and so forth. So that's basically what we um, have for a troubleshooting slash practice part. Um, I want to um, remember you about our uh, telematics conference that will happen in Belarus, Minsk, in July 30th, August 1st. Uh, it's an annual conference, and uh, this year we celebrate uh, this 10th anniversary. And for you as a partner, it's an opportunity to network with other partners from different countries. And you can also connect with the hardware manufacturers as we plan a large exhibition of hardware partners. Uh, you can also listen to case studies from partners, IoT experts, and also attend training sessions. For registrations, please go to your partner portal, mygortum.com. And right now, again, uh, we appreciate your time. I hope you learned um, something new today. Um, and uh, please stay tuned for a series of webinars on VLON. Uh, the next is coming on June 5th about management system. We are looking forward to seeing you there as well as in Minsk. Thank you and have a great day.